Hi, Patty Wack here at I Love to Create. And yes, I'm getting ready for the holidays still. I've got lots more to do and I'm thinking maybe I need to get those stockings hung, yes, before Santa Claus comes. And you're not going to want to give out stockings with nothing on them. Now these are fabulous. You can pick them up at the craft store or you can make them yourself out of felt. But I'm going to show you how to glam it up in just a second, but I want to show you this idea too. Cheryl Ball, one of our fabulous designers here at I Love to Create, did this. And I know a lot of you are into canning, and you've got to have a cute little glamorous tag to go along with it. She did the little hollies and the great tag here. This is just some scrapbooking paper and some felt. And then it has our ready to iron on design. It's already preset, you don't have to think about it, and the holly I thought was perfect for this. Now what's perfect for our little stocking? I'm thinking maybe the snowman. Now I haven't done him before and I've been looking at this. This is part studs and part crystals and rhinestones. Just about everything right here in one design. And as you can see, it's pretty big. So what I'm gonna do is cut away parts of this. Now I'm going to put these little snowflakes aside because I can use these later for another design. Oh, these would be great for tags, wouldn't they? I'll keep those and maybe even give them to Cheryl and she can put them with some of her canned goods. Now the next thing you want to do after you've separated your design is you peel away this top piece. Now the top sheet has all those goodies stuck to it. Now, this is a scary part of this, but just lay it flat on the table and see how it will just roll right off. This way you don't pop any rhinestones across the room. There we go. Now, as you can see, it's sticky, so that's gonna make it super easy to put it onto your project. I've gotta find exactly where I want him. I think I want him to kind of dance sideways. There we go. And then just press it lightly because we're going to iron it. Now these are all fantastic because they iron on, they're permanent, they're going to stick on there forever. And this is one of those great projects for the whole family. The kids can pick out what they want for their design, and mom can iron them on, and then it's great fun when they peel it off. Now I've got my iron set for the type of fabric that I'm using. This is a wool, 100% wool, so I have my iron set on wool. If you're doing cotton, use cotton. And obviously you would not want to do this on something that's not going to be ironable because it won't work. My iron is beeping at me to lift it up. It beeps after 15 seconds, so that's perfect for me. Now we're doing this in two sections because the design is so large. And I like to keep my iron moving just a little bit in small circles so I don't get a scorch. Now if you see your pressing cloth start to yellow, you've had it on there way too long and it's time to lift up your iron. There we go. You can see that the crystals and the studs and the rhinestones are going right down into the fabric. And we're gonna let this cool just a little bit. And you know what is a great tip is if you have one of those chalkboard erasers, you can wipe it over that and it'll pull the heat from it quicker. Or you can take another fabric and just kind of move it over there and you can actually start the heat, making the heat come up into the cloth. There we go. Now we're ready to peel it. Are you ready? <laughs> I get really excited at these kinds of things. Now if you're worried about any of those things, if they don't stick, you can always do it again. Ooh, this is beautiful. Ah, isn't that cute? Now there is a quick, quick craft for Christmas and you did it yourself. Now don't forget to go to our website and look at all the many selections of these Glam It Up designs and then you can go to your favorite craft store and get all the Glam It Ups that you want. Make a great project for Christmas. Have fun!